Family reported today that the TSA is considering dropping screening at smaller airports. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Berry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. News 19's Jenna Krasina went to Columbia Airport to talk to passengers about how they feel about TSA checkpoints no longer being an option. I wouldn't go to the airport if there wasn't a TSA check. I guess I would be very shocked to see something like that happen in, in, in light of what happened 9-11 uh, could easily happen again. Passengers at Columbia Metropolitan Airport all seem to agree that their safety before boarding their flight is a number one priority. It adds a, a bit of security, uh, an assurance that, uh, that I'm going to end up in the, in the place that I want to and that, uh, that I'm safe. Larry Nyquist is a frequent flyer, and when he heard about the possibility of cutting security at smaller airports, he would look at alternative routes of transportation if this was to happen. I don't like the idea because it wouldn't be very long before <clears throat> a potential terrorist could, could figure that routine out. I just think it compromises the safety that we've already established in the, in the country. According to reports, the places TSA is considering no longer screening at are airports that have planes with 60 or less seats. Meanwhile, one flyer says he thinks security should be reduced at all airports. I remember the good old days when you could just get on an airplane and you didn't have to go through all this, I think, nonsense. I think if I were a terrorist, I could blow up a plane if I really wanted to. I reached out to TSA earlier today and asked if this is something they are considering, and they sent me a statement saying, there has been no decision to eliminate passenger screening at any federalized U.S. airport. TSA remains committed to its core mission to secure the homeland by screening more than 2.5 million airline passengers per day. Every year as part of the federal budget process, TSA is asked to discuss potential operational efficiencies. This year is no different. Any potential operational change to better allocate limited taxpayer resources are simply part of pre-decisional discussions and deliberations and would not take place without a risk assessment to ensure the security of the aviation system. In Columbia, Jenna Corzina, News 19 WLTX. Well, it is unclear tonight if the TSA will end screening at smaller airports. The reports say there are about 150 of them that have planes with 60 or less seats. Columbia Falls under one of those airports. Now, the TSA confiscated nearly 4,000 firearms from travelers carry-on bags last year. A full 84% of those guns seized from carry-ons last year were loaded. 35% had a round chamber. Hartsville Jackson Airport in Atlanta led the nation in firearm discoveries with 245 guns, 90% of which were loaded. Dallas Fort Worth was second with 211 guns, 78% of those were loaded.